It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and then out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John, line. It's almost beautiful. like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. The King! All right, give me the losing lock, man. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? Well, there have been a lot of similar UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Let's get those hands working now. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they separate. Big leg kick land. It's a good right hand right there. And 
Both guys really throwing with authority. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Unable to connect there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lou. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the you fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean. You cannot take him with one arm. And there comes the separation now. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Single collar tie now. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Able to check that kick as well. Take many of those, you better check. Left hand is true, that will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Boy, oh, switches his stance again. Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. And they separate. Oh, big head kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice defense there. Huge block. Battling for hooks. And they separate. Oh, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Powerful leg kick land. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Switching stances here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. 20 seconds left. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. 10 seconds to go in the round. Alright, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed.
right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He can't even, he can barely stand. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Let's go, get out of Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Big body land. And they separate. It's big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big head kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at the turnover in that kick. Hands high. Big head kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Watch the shot. Straight right is there. And they separate. Well placed kick there by Lee. Right hand on point. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Trying to kick the leg out. Punch over the top. And there comes the separation now. Liver kick. And now he's got that tie flinch. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, single collar tie now. Landed that overhand right flush. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here. Jim. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Nice punch there by Lee. Head kick lands. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw it. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, big punch land. Lee's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. And they separate. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Single collar tie now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I you. mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him.
All right, here we go as our next round gets right. underway. His strong right. leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reaction from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. Counter punch is good by Lou. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Nice loop and punch. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow. Oh, shot to the body, connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What you follow up a beautiful strike like that, Lee Witch, we'll see very shortly. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice look like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, he might be out. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. There's no give on that leg kick. Visibly limping here. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Establish that jab once again. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh! News hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. So, fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Boy, Ty Plump. Massive elbow from the clinch. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Big kick lands. And that one certainly found the target. Got clipped with the right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Great punch. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him in the body that clean. That right hand landed. Kick lands. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Ooh, what a head kick. 
that's a big strike right there. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. Oh, yeah! Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent oh. can take. Nice kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice punch lands over the top. Lands with the right hand. Got the single collar tie, and they separate. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Caught the kick. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. Three minutes to go in the round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Just a slip there. Good punch. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Big kick land. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Big punch land through the middle. Right-left combo by Lee. Big leg kick lands. Nice shot to the body there. Tries to work it into a takedown. All right, single collar tie now. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, seeing active, keeping busy, doing great work. Watch knees to the body. Big punch lands. Ooh. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Big kick lands. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. 
All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 30 seconds now to go in the round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Ten seconds to go. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of round number five. And playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.